Alright, welcome back to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and this should be my final series of uh, videos on the Evilo wheel versus the Omni wheel. In this one, I want to tell you that what the differences are, the way they mount, the way they operate, and some of the stuff inside. So, uh, basically, the Evilo wheel is said to have a 350 watt geared motor inside, electron wheel 250 watts, although from what we've seen, um, this one's a little more efficient, apparently has more battery, and just this this smallest bit more power and uh, and uh, and speed. So the Avila wheel, it actually installs with nuts and bolts on either side. It's got a small tab there. Underneath there is a little sensor. And I had a few issues with that, but they updated it since uh, the uh, prototype I was with. And on this side, once again, there's, it comes with a series of spacers. And the torque arm fit on other bikes I, I had just fine, but didn't quite fit on this one. Now the electron wheel, it goes on with a quick release and goes on much quicker and that's the adjustable torque arm there. But once you put it on, you have to go through a, uh, a procedure to calibrate it to the bike. And there you can see the quick release. Okay, now both of them have buttons to turn them on. This the one on the uh, 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 electron wheel lights up quite bright and blue. There's the charge jack. The yellow button, that's the one that on wheel and the light's not quite as bright on that one. Now the Avila wheel can work two ways. And on this bike I use the hand throttle the whole time. These two extra wires here are for the brake handles that will uh, do the safety cutoff switch for the motor. Has a display that when you're in uh, using the pedelec, you can choose three levels of power till speed. And also uh, it does come with a series of sensors to go on the bottom bracket, which I used on the other bikes, but not on this one, for the automatic pedelec and that has a wire that goes up and actually you unplug the throttle wire and plug that into there and then you have to go through a quick calibration mode so to go between pedelec and throttle you have to change the wires and uh, do a little minor deal here now the electron wheel is only a pedelec so uh, it actually uh, has a small box that velcros on the pedals and on some of the bikes I used it on I actually had to put that on the outside which is kind of the way you can do it but it kind of couldn't get in the way of your hands a little bit and I had to take the kickstand off for a different bike. Now that has its own little battery in it, a lithium battery that recharges and a little um, switch and light on it as does the display on the uh, electro, uh, the Velo wheel has a little uh, charge jack on the side and it comes with a charger with a lithium battery. Now turning them on with the Velo wheel you turn on the wheel, that yellow button wait three or four seconds, turn on the display, and you're ready to go. Now with the Electron wheel, it actually uses a cell phone app, which I borrowed my friend's cell phone, uh, so you can set, do the calibration and set one or three levels of assist. So when this bike, you turn on the, uh, with the Electron wheel, you turn on the wheel, you turn on the box. Like, let me get you a closer look at this box here real quick. It actually has a switch, charged plug, and a light. And then you have to turn on your cell phone and find the app. So there's actually three things to turn on and off on the electron wheel. Now for my uh, uh, other videos, it showed, I showed you the power and the speed is very close, although the range is quite a discrepancy. So I'm going to do a full, I've already did a full post on the Velo production wheel, did a full post on the electron wheel, but I will do one more post to kind of outline some of these differences. But on the whole, I think these go, that go on the front, you don't have to mess at all with your chains, your spacing, any of that stuff, go right on the front, on and off real quick. A lot of great reasons for that. Uh, so I really like them. Oh, one more point I want to make too is with the Avila wheel to air it up, and they both come with tires and tubes, it comes with a little 90 degree elbow. So you can fill up your tire, and there is enough room there to get most bike locks through. On the Electron wheel, there's generally uh, enough room to uh, air up the tire with most pumps and it has a secondary hole on the other side that's great for lifting the wheel, lifting it onto the bike rack or putting your uh, your bike lock through there. So anyhow, they're very very similar yet they have their differences in mounting, the way they perform, the way they work and their different features and I do look for both of these companies to continue to upgrade them uh, to get, uh, well, try to make them lighter work better. I mean, they work really good. 
but just generally to keep upgrading them a little bit more. Uh, a couple things too is they, these wheels do weigh about 20 pounds. And you can't tell when you're riding it, but it makes the front end a little heavier, a little harder to load on the bike rack. And those full disc wheels uh, can be affected a little by crosswinds. If it's really windy, you'll notice it, but if it's just a little bit, not too much. So there you go. The Avila wheel versus the Omni wheel. One more post coming up. I've got a post on both of the reviews. One more post that kind of outlines what we're talking here today. So I was so lucky to do it. This is an exclusive test. I don't think anybody else had both of them to talk about. I was so glad to be able to do it and show it to you. So there you go. As close as I can tell the differences between the Evila wheel and the Omni wheel and the Electron wheel. And once again, for this post and the final post, I'll flip a coin to see who gets head billing. All right, well, thanks for following Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog. I was really glad to be able to do this test. I think these are both great little products. Uh, make it real easy for you to have just a single bike. They come in six, uh, 26 and 700C. And I think the Electron wheel also comes in a 24-inch version, so have to look into that. And the Omni wheel does have an extended range battery option, so that's something worth looking into. All right, well, thanks for following along.